took off part of her shirt. So what you are watching right now today makes them 14 days old and um, it's very very interesting we give all thanks to God for the rate at which they are growing they are growing very very well and the growth is perfectly uniform good of viewers so happy to have you in our channel today today make our fry 14 day old and we we'll actually decide to give you another shot so when you look at them, you can see they are really doing very, very well. You can see them looking like mature tadpoles, but these are not mature tadpoles, these are post-fry. Because at this level, um, some people do buy them. So, but we, we want to manage them to standard fingerlings and juvenile before we sell off. So, what are we going to talk about today? Today, I want to talk about the... The feeling of this fry you know so many people used to have challenge in terms of feeding and one thing i want you to understand because when you look at them you, you discover that they are growing uniform i actually want to bring them out so when you look at them the difference is not much The difference is not much when you look at them. So, what I want you to understand, like, let me be more practical. Let me be more practical. The size of feed that we have used here, we started with 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and right now we are using 0 0.5. But now, this line long you are seeing me holding. Initially, I was putting them in a bottle, but I have my feet in this slide long. Now this is my 0 0.1, this is my 0 0.2, this is my 0 0.5. So what do I do? I actually knew that not all of them can pick this 0 0.5. So I do not withdraw the 0 0.5. I still give them all this pick. But I first of all drop the 0 0.5 so that those big ones among them will feed on the 0 0.5. After which I will now introduce 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So what I'm trying to say is this, in order for you to have to maintain uniform growth, don't just change feed. And some people normally have high level of mortality whenever they change um, feed. If you know you want to change from one product to another, you don't have to do that drastically. You have to do it gradually. You don't need to withdraw completely. Or you know you want to change from one feed size to, to the other. For example, you want to change from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. You don't need to just, you know, change it like that. You need to ensure either you mix both of them or you've been introducing the two. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Then, someone was asking me a question if um, this book is enough to guide him on how to manage um, this fry. And I want to show you something here. When you look at chapter 3 of this material, this is, I hope you share very, very clearly. This is fry management. You can see the beginning after 24 hours of hashing, remove the incubation net and transfer it into another tank containing water. The hash egg can hash there. So when you look at it, it is very, very rich. Okay, let me show you another thing. Vital things to note during fry management. There are important points that you need to take note of during fry management. So we also have a brew stock production and management. To how to guide people on how to produce their own blue stuff. So what am I trying to say? I want to encourage you to still try all you can to get this material because what you are just watching is just the practical aspect to confirm what we have written here. So you will enjoy what you are watching when you have read this book. And you will enjoy this material when you have the live videos because we have been careful to upload 
starting from let go um, starting from hashing procedures have the hashing procedures have um okay selection of brew stock you can see characteristic of a good female brew stock then hormone administration application of hormone extraction of pituitary all these things their practicals have been carefully uploaded in our channel so i will implore you if you are far away try and get the soft copy of this material then for those who get who, who, who have buy the material already if you have any question you're always free to chat us up just chat us via whatsapp or drop this on our youtube channel we will respond immediately to you so i want to say thank you for being part of our community let me just